Hey there everyone, I'm Palkifanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time, shit went down, yo. I will never say that again, ever. <laughs> First of all, we fought Leon, and we defeated him, and he died. And then, all hell broke loose. The Aeropolis appeared, Belkrant appeared, and and blasted a huge crater on the, in the ground, and ah, I don't even know where to begin. So much stuff. <laughs> and we learned that we should go to Rydasol, which is the place where we found Clement. Because we might actually be able to get up to the Aeropolis and stop it from there. So today, we are gonna ignore all that, and we are gonna go back to Heidelberg Castle. Because there is a party member there that I really want to get. Who? Well, let's find out. Now, there's no boat that it's actually gonna take that can actually take us to Fendaria. So what we need to do is well, go there by foot. Through Janos. Yeah. To Heidelberg from Janos. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. And I also really like that there's actually now that the Aeropolis and all is appeared, even the battle screen is a lot darker. Nice little detail there, and you can even see some of the black lines in the back there. Very nice little detail. But yeah, we have actually not seen the way to Heidelberg from Janos before, so at least we get to see something new. Hey, <laughs> That's good. I guess. Something. I'm gonna stop now because this is starting to sound awkward. <laughs> but yeah, now we are in completely new territory. I or new and new, I won't really say that, but no. <laughs> I like these enemies. Anyway, sadly you can't go straight to Heilberg Castle from outside Janos. You still need to go through the forest here and go past Cyril. How about, or actually, how about we go and see how Mary and Dallas is doing now? I think there's a uh, little change in Dallas's condition now, so let's uh, let's uh, visit them. Yay! Look, he's actually up walking now, or standing at least. Not really moving much though. <laughs> I'm doing much better now. That's great. So, what are you going to do now? I'm out of shape. So I think I'll return to the militia and get back into shape again. Actually, that's a good idea. Laying in bed for too long and you will start to lose weight and muscle. And you will be completely out of shape. Trust me, I've been through it too. It's horrible. Anyway, how about you, Mary? Got something new to say? Hello, Mary. I feel so much better now. I'll always be with Dallas from now on. I'm so happy. Okay, so the party member that I'm gonna get I'm gonna get is apparently not Mary. Then who the heck is it? Mm, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad at holding suspense like this. I should never have done this. <laughs> Just go, come on. Heilberg is right there. Yes, thank you. <sighs> So, let's just go straight to the throne room. I think you already know who it is, though. I, actually, I think you... I think you could already guess who it was in the ending of the last video. <laughs> but, uh, what you probably didn't guess is that the party member that we're gonna get right now is actually one of my favorites. Who is it? Chelsea! Um, oh, well, um, I, um, uh, uh, yes, it's Queen Chelsea. <laughs> oh, I can totally picture that Chelsea's just sitting here playing Queen all day. I can totally see that. Please take me with you. Yes, of course I will. We, I'm so honored. I'll get ready right away. Oh, she's so adorable. Thanks for waiting. Let's go! And Chelsea officially joins the party. And more than five minutes this time too. Great! So... Last time Chelsea joined the party, I didn't really bother 
talking much about her because, well, she left my party after like three minutes. Wasn't really much to say. But now she is a permanent party member. Or at least she is until I decided to kick her out. And I will say she is so adorable. I know that she's just ah, so cute. <laughs> As I said, Chelsea is one of my favorite party members. And the reason for that is, you guys know that I am a sucker for archers. And Chelsea is actually, well, I, I will actually say by far, say that she is the best archer in the game, by far. Now, I know what you're thinking, but how, what about Gar? He's an archer too, and you, you love Gar. Yes, I do, but remember, Gar is also a Sordian Master, even though we haven't really seen it yet, because Ignatos is offline. <laughs> because of that, Gar will not get the high-end archer skills that Chelsea get. Remember, she is the granddaughter of the great archery master Alba. So, of course, she's an archer. <laughs> that says itself. So, I'm, I'm not saying that I prefer Chelsea over Gar. No, not at all. It's just... Those... Those final archery skills are just amazing. Believe me, don't underestimate this cute little thing. She will to start to destroy enemies when she start when she gets more skills, believe me. So for now I will replace Rudy with Chelsea. As you see she is still level two. Not a huge fan of that, but oh well. <laughs> she will level pretty damn fast when I start to use her in battle. But uh, now we actually want to go back Darishid and tell the king what happened. But there's actually one more thing we want to do before leaving. And that's check behind the throne. And we will get the gorgeous cape. Which is the cape that Chelsea put there that she... Well, she had around her when we walked in. <laughs> uh, Queen Chelsea. Gotta love her. Totally gotta be the title of this video. I just know it. <laughs> But with that, I will meet you guys back in the castle in Darishit. And I will probably also level up Chelsea a little bit on the way. Alrighty, back in Senegal Castle. So let's talk to the king. I have to give you some unfortunate news. So Hugo was behind it all, was he? Yes, and Leon is also a conspirator. Yeah, but sadly he's dead, so, yeah. I have a few... I have a few questions for you. What is that city flowing above us now in the sky? My understanding is that it's an Aeropolis, a remnant of the Aether Wars. Then, what is that weapon that made a huge crater north of Darishid? It's Belkrant, a weapon used in the Aether Wars. The citizens of my country are terrified. They're terrified of becoming Belkrin's next target. I, under I understand your concerns. However, we still have the means to protect ourselves. Explain. During the Aether Wars, the Earther Group... The Earther Group forces flew their own versions of an Aeropolis into the sky. They used Aeropolis to fight against the Aetherians. That Aeropolis was Radisol, and it still exists. We'll infiltrate the Aeropolis by using Radisol. Excellent, I'm counting on you. Alrighty, so now we want to go to Radisol, and even though my timer now says 15 minutes, I know the video is not that long yet, because I cut out the trip back. So, how about we just go straight to Radisol, because, uh, yes, the place is a little bit long, but there's no point in me showing that place at all, because there's no enemies there anymore. So, let's just talk to this captain right here. The ship is heading for Calvalese and all that. Yeah, but I want you to drop us off on the way there. 
drop you off? Where? The place where the sea dragon appeared. The demon's reef, I think. Yeah, that'd be the place, but... Yes, and I want you to take us there. Uh, uh, are you crazy? Our route has been changed since the sea dragon appeared. You're asking me to do something completely insane? Consider it a challenge, Captain. <laughs> but I am... Uh, all I'm asking you is to, is to drop us off there, okay? But the sea dragon! Hey, Captain. We ask you cause we heard that you are a bold and fearless sailor. Do you think so? Well, I guess I have to live up with my, to my reputation now. <laughs> wow, nice one, Rudy. <laughs> but it'll be your job to drive away the stinking dragon if it shows up. Sure, consider it done. Leave it to us. Okay. Let's see if the dragon pops up again. Actually, how are we supposed to get down under or back to Radisol if the dragon doesn't help us? I highly doubt we can swim. And we don't have Undine to help us either, so... Now this should get interesting. Definitely. <laughs> oh, this is a longer trip than I first as I remember. And I do like the... Uh, the shadow of the uh, Aeropolis just in the ocean. Once again, nice little touch and... Oh, it's already up, it seems. You okay? This is Radisol. Yes. But why is it going up to the surface? Since Radisol is sensing the revival of Thycroft, it's trying to revive itself as well. At any rate, let's go further inside. Go to a room where I was kept. That room is Radisol's control room. I understand. Alrighty, so I'm gonna meet you guys back in the control room because, well, there's no enemies here. There's really no point in me showing this place at all. So, see you over there. Stan, wait a minute. Alright, I forgot about this. If you're Chelsea, you will get this little scene. I really feel homesick. I want to go home. Oh, of course. Chelsea, don't be selfish. I'm not being selfish. I'm just worried about my grandpa. Yeah, that's why you were playing queen back in Heidelberg. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's go to Alba's cabin when we get the chance, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. Stan, you should spoil Chelsea like this. It's not good for her. But Chelsea's still a child. But I'm not a child. Yeah, that's why... Yeah, sure, that's why you're just standing there crying, sure. Fooey! <laughs> it was worth it just for that little fooey. By the way, of course, this is a room where we found Clement. So, let's see. Welcome, Sword of Masters. Who's this? You must be Riker. Welcome back, Saurians. It, se it seems like the world is in grave danger again. We're sorry we couldn't stop it from happening. Well, what's done is done. Let's think about our options now. Hey, hey! Who's Riker? Dumlos, uh, can you explain? Okay, let me introduce Marius Riker, commander of the Earther forces during the Aether Wars. In, real in reality, I'm basically a personality imprint stored within the molecular matrix of a core crystal. Damn, that's a lot of words. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you, children of the Earthers. The honor is ours. Hmm, where's Shaltir? He sided with the Aetherians and Paris in battle. That's unbelievable. Versilius is no longer with us, and Ignos is damaged. And now we have lost Chaltir too. So there we actually got the name of the final Saurian, Versilius. And, uh, well, we'll get a little bit more info about him a little bit later on. You said Ignatos was damaged. Is Ignatos only injured? 
Correct. A power surge caused by the eye photomony overloaded the Ignatovs. It's impossible for Ignatovs to communicate or use his powers. Yeah, we noticed. Thank you. I see. So, how can he be cured? Unfortunately, we can't do it here. You may be able to find remnants of ancient technology in the Aeropolis that may revive Ignatovs. That is our only hope. Well, that would that would certainly be helpful. I mean, a well, a uh, offline Saurian isn't really a helpful Saurian. I see. By the way, who is Priscillius? Priscillius. Oh, Priscillius. Priscillius is a Saurian that died in the Aether Wars. A Saurian can die? If the core crystal that contains our essence is destroyed, we die. That's good to know. What? what? <laughs> Rudy? I'm just kidding. Don't freak out. Yeah, totally not the best time to joke with that, Rudy. Okay, that was just uncalled for. <laughs> so when did Radisol actually resurface? The truth of the matter is that the underwater submission drive mer merely stopped functioning. That is why it ceased to stay submerged underwater. In order to become airborne, a boot disc is necessary to re reactivate the main propulsion system. A boot disc? Radisol is equipped with a sophisticated security system. The system protects Radisol from being used for questionable pursuits. And where is that disc? <laughs> Before that, I need an assistant. An assistant? But how do we go back? Yeah, we sent the sh Yeah, we sent the ship back. You can summon Bernardo, the sea dragon. Yeah, the sea dragon is called Bernardo. Bernardo. Cool name, but it doesn't really fit a hey, sea dragon. Sorry. Sea dragon bur Sea dragon? Oh, that. Yes, his name is Bernardo. When you need him, blow his horn at any seaport to summon him. Yeah, that's not gonna freak out people at all. No, not at all. <laughs> huh. Well, people are already terrified, so... Yeah, why not? <laughs> and we get the horn. Just the horn. Yeah, okay. Go to some country by riding Bernardo and bring me an assistant. Can the assistant be one of us? You already have your mission, as Sordian Masters. This job is not for you. Alrighty, I understand. Find someone. Preferably a scholar or a scientist. The person must understand Radisol's various operational systems. I see, so someone like Stan won't cut it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a uneducated country boy. Here, I said it for you. You happy now? Wow, that's uh okay. <laughs> uh to each his own. Stan, your abilities should be put to use elsewhere. Yes, for more uh, important matters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh boy. Stan, you're so easy. You shouldn't praise him too much. You're pumping up his ego. It's not good for his head. <laughs> I don't think so. It's okay, we got plenty of other things to deal with right now. Yeah, we have to find someone who can be a Rikers assistant. Alrighty, so that's next on our list. But, uh, now that we have Bernardo, there's, of course, some side stuff we can do. So, next time, we are gonna do optional side stuff. Yay! Finally. So, I thank you all for watching. And I see you all then.